Okay. Well, so tell me where you guys are from and what is the backstory behind the inception of this band? All right, um, say your name. I'm Liam Barnell, and uh, I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana, and then freshman year of high school, I moved Hey, can you guys get a little, I apologize for interrupting, brother. Oh. Can you get a little closer to the microphone? Because okay. right. I've got my tablet cranked all the way up. And... Okay, I'm Liam Barnell, and I'm the vocalist, and I was, I lived in Indianapolis until freshman year, and then I moved to Lamont, Illinois, and... I think junior year, we formed, me and Ryan, we mm -hmm. formed Altered Perceptions. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, uh, I've read somewhere that you guys were once cloaked in all black with, with the masks uh, to obscure identity. Um, on one of your most recent videos, I saw that you guys didn't have all that stuff. Was What was the motivating factor to uh, unmasking, or am I misunderstanding the whole thing? <laughs> Well, um, actually, we kind of got brought on. It kind of started as a joke of uh, we all watched Naruto and we kind of like came from this uh, shinobi thing. And then we all started wearing masks on stage and dressing in black and wearing cloaks as like a ninja theme that we just had to recently scrap. But we still we keep... still wear the masks. Like maybe the video was older, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we still wear the masks. Um, it's just like the theme is kind of changing a bit. Mm -hmm. What video are you referring to, by the way? Um, I think, I don't know, I, I'm probably getting it confused with something else entirely, but um, <laughs> I just saw this killer video of you guys, I, I think you posted something on uh, Facebook. Um, oh, was it a live video? Was it a Yes, it was a live video. Oh, okay. I mean... If it was recent, we should have had our masks on because all the videos on YouTube we don't have any masks on right now. Those are older, mm -hmm. um, like all the music videos. Right. But as of recently, like in the promos and live now and like future, we're gonna have like masks on. So we're we're still going for that theme. Right on. Um, I even gave uh, last night. I gave some of your previous previous material a listen, and it, it was kind of astonishing uh, comparatively to this new material. Uh, uh, you guys have matured at an alarming rate. Thank you. Over the past few years, I can't help but acknowledge the presence of of an economy of force, and I think that's what I'm seeing the big difference between this record and the previous one. Uh, what would you guys attribute that to? Oh, I'd say the main thing. Uh, in our older music, we went through like producers, you know, and producers always have their own input on the sound. In this new one, we completely recorded it ourselves. We just sent it out for mixing and mastering. Mm -hmm. So I'd say like having full control over the sound really helped that change. Fantastic. Uh, someone tell me about your songwriting process. Pro blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I'm sorry. I'll work it's all okay. day. <laughs> I'll just edit that out. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, uh, someone told me about your songwriting process and perhaps uh, what makes it unique from other bands? Uh, you know, we just kind of, we a, a lot of it goes through, so I'm, I'm the bassist and mm -hmm. I will write like a shell of a song normally right. and then we'll all get together, like I'll email it out to the band and then when we're all together, we'll listen to it and we'll go through the structuring, like the parts that we like, parts we don't like, take it out and we sit around, we just like, we keep tweaking the song until we feel like we've come up with something that we all enjoy and we all like find things that we enjoy about it. And that's normally how so, we write so our song. So it's definitely a collaborative effort. Yeah, we all like, we make sure everyone's happy with the song before we move on to the next one, definitely. Excellent. Um, congratulations on getting signed with Artery Recordings. Um, how they been Thank you. That's, that's really great, guys. Uh, how have they been treating you? I'd say they've been treating us really really well they've been extremely helpful mm -hmm. um being on a label we'd say everything is really fresh to us right now we don't mm -hmm. we weren't as um active as we were before that we're now on a label and they offer us a lot of guidance on how to uh, promote our music how to uh, promote our new merch mm -hmm. and basically they're there for anything we need um they've done so much they've, they've already created pre-orders for 
our album and they've they made merch like instantly mm-hmm. for, um, for our new album as well so yeah they basically do anything we need oh that's great man uh, I really really like this new record could each mem- each band member tell me which track on the album is your favorite and why Liam what say you my friend Okay, I, I think uh, I like the song called Death. It's near like the end of the album, and mm-hmm. that's personally one of my favorites. Definitely. Oh, that's um, a- it, the reason being, it's more I don't know, it's more heavy than anything else. Usually, like we kind of go in with like high energy and mm-hmm. then like into a breakdown or something like that, and that song's just like all slam, just I don't know, complete devastation, and I love it. Yeah, uh, so do I. So do I. That that one's a crusher. Uh, what about you? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, uh, Ryan? Yeah, dude, you got it. You got it. Um, uh, my favorite Ooh, on the album would be... Uh... I, I looked at that and was like, man, I'm going to screw that one up. But good. All right, talk to me, my brother. You're one of the first to get it right. But, uh, <laughs> my favorite on the album would probably be uh, Luminescent, mm-hmm. just because it's... Uh, it's really bouncy and it's a lot of fun to play. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, just a very high energy feeling when you play it, you know? Yeah, it is. I love that song. Uh, that's a great track. Uh, what yeah. about you, Jethro? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, how you doing, brother? Uh, I'd say my favorite song is Frequencies. Right uh, f- funny story. This song was voted not to be put on the album at first, but mm-hmm. I kept pushing it on to the rest of the band. I was like, hey, hey, I really like this song. Like, we should put it on there. And they're like, all right, just for you, we'll put it on there. Um, <laughs> I like the song because of the tempo. It's it's like, I'd say it's more upbeat and mm-hmm. more, uh, I, well, not fast paced, but it's just much more upbeat than like compared to the rest of the songs. So a lot of the songs are uh, like down tempo, but mm-hmm. this, uh, I don't know. It's it's real genty, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I, I enjoy playing it live too. Well, I'm glad you twisted their arm getting it on there, brother. It's a good one. Um, Thank you, Eric. What about you, my man? Uh, my favorite is definitely Immortal. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, it's it's more unique. It's different than a lot of the ones. And also with the writing process, a lot mm-hmm. of the times uh, the songs might take a while, you know, like I said, we like send it out, get together, like change things. And that one just seemed to flow so naturally, mm-hmm. like the writing process for it didn't like get stretched out over days. It was pretty much done like in one sitting. Mm-hmm. So it just like it for me, it just flows really well every time I hear it. And I love it. Uh, fantastic. Um, the tightness and sound on this record is really, really crispy. Um, Tell me a little bit about the pre and post production on this record. Well, uh, I mean, the pre production, we just, I mean, I record everything. We record it all here and then send it out. We send it out to Cody Stewart from The mm-hmm. Browning. He mixed and mastered it and he's just fantastic. He gets like every band that goes with him just gets like a heavy, but like still clear and crisp, like you said, sound. It sounds great. And mm-hmm. the whole like recording process, we just made sure to get every take. Like, mm-hmm. we didn't want a take that we would like listen to later and like regret sending out for final, so we just mm-hmm. took all the time we could to make sure it sounded perfect. Yeah, I, uh, I've i got some JBL headphones upstairs, really expensive headphones, and I, I, I put those on, and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. I might as well have been sitting in Jethro's kit, because I could hear everything <laughs> And this, you can do that. And this I'll let you omnidirectional, you know, this symbol here, that symbol there, and you know, uh, between Liam and Reen, Ryan, I'm sorry, Oof, I was going to screw it up one no. time, uh, <laughs> but it, it sounds really good, and I really like how they, how uh, in post production, they kind of tweak the mid range a little bit on each of the guitars so that they're different, so you can yeah. really, really differentiate between the two and. I was really super impressed with that, and uh, next time you see see him, buy him a beer for me or something. That's um, <laughs> definitely will do. All right, what are your current touring plans, and what uh, can we expect from an Altered Perceptions show? Um, at the moment, our touring plans. Um, what they have going on for us right now is an album release tour. Mm-hmm. Um, 
to be honest, the information is not fully there yet. Like, we don't know exactly the bands we're going to play with mm-hmm. or, like, the the states we're going to hit. Mm-hmm. But I just know the main premise is going to be for our album release. Mm-hmm. Um, I know the other bands are going to be really, really heavy. So it's definitely going to be a devastating lineup. Excellent. Um, where do you guys see this taking you and what can we expect in the future, uh, say six months down the road or a year down the road? What are your aspirations for this? Heavier music. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell yes. you what. But, but, but you, you just want to keep on writing. It's our, it's our thing. We, uh, our, our bassist here, he has his own home studio, so we're just constantly writing. Oh, so that, that's we excellent. probably are going to start our new album. <laughs> yeah, definitely not taking a break. We was yeah. on keep writing and then touring also to promote this new one. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, I've got a few really great questions that my CEO, Ken, wanted me to ask you. What is the ethos of this band and what do you guys stand for? What do you stand for? Oh, well, originally when um, we formed the band, it was kind of just like... Um, from the path of like ignorance to enlightenment and that mm-hmm. was like the whole altered perceptions and that's what it stood for and then <clears throat> after the second album transcend mm-hmm. we also hit that same theme mm-hmm. and then after that i mean from rise to ruin this new one that's coming out on october mm-hmm. 28th we kind of strayed away from it mm-hmm. um it is kind of talking about like punishment of for humanity for mm-hmm. like greed and like everything that you know all the bad habits that are practiced Mm-hmm. But um, it, it's not. It's more hidden, and it's not as out there as we used to make it. Excellent. Um, oh, this is a good one. You guys are gonna love this. Uh, are are you are you guys familiar with the movie Spinal Tap? That came out. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. My boss wants wants to hear about your biggest Spinal Tap moment. <laughs> like which which like this the. Like, Everything going wrong kind of thing? Or everything going to 11. Everything going to 11? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, have you guys just kind of had, had kind of a, I don't know, anything funny happen on the road or at a show or after a show or before a show? <laughs> Any- all the time, man. Uh, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're all like such good friends. We hang out all the time and we just have a good time on the road. I'd say my favorite memory would be our aux cord on tour gave out like mid drive mm-hmm. and so we couldn't be we couldn't listen to music like we didn't have any CDs on us so mm-hmm. instead of like putting the radio on cuz there's nothing really good on the radio we all were just kind of banging on stuff in the car and like making like sounds with our mouth and then mm-hmm. one of us we'd like take turns freestyle rapping we did that for probably <laughs> three, like seriously 3 hours straight yeah. Like, just, yeah, yeah that was probably the funniest moment we've ever had that was definitely a memory to remember that's forever. awesome rock and roll anyway. yeah, that was sick okay um Anyway, guys, uh, I really enjoyed sitting down and chatting with you guys. Uh, I just can't put the record down. I love doing this job because I I get to just nibble on this wonderful music months before it comes out. Uh, uh, tell, me, tell us again uh, when this record comes out. October 28th of this year. And that's uh, from Rise to Ruins by Alter Perceptions. Gentlemen, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, uh, feel free to just di- dial in and chat with me anytime you guys want. Thank you. We'd love to. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so us, much. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity as well, man. All right, brother. Hey, uh, when you guys uh, hit the road, make sure you come to Kansas City, Missouri. Absolutely. Oh, We'd love to. We can touch your beard. Exactly. Here, here you go. Come on. <laughs> there you go. It's there beautiful. It go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. it's so fuzzy. all right guys have a great night you You too too, man man. thank you all right bye-bye bye Bye. (sighs) okay my job's done for the night i survived yeah it's fun i like it Well, that's the first one that I've tried. There was a little bit of nervousness there because that's the first one I've actually done via Skype. And I thought it was going to work Facebook Messenger because, you know, you look at the upper right-hand corner, there's a little camera, 
and there's the little, you know, if you want to just do the phone call interface. Uh, yeah, Ken's going to be super duper happy with that.